Good day everyone. Welcome to my tutorial channel in case of gear design. Today, I will discuss about Kisses gearbox design. So this is a two-stage industrial gearbox. So I will explain step by step a process on how to develop this Kisses model. Okay. So we will divide this tutorial into two parts. For part one, we will discuss how to model the assembly using the Kisses software. Then how to make the gearbox schematic using Excel file manually. And for the part two, so this is the hardcore simulation. We will uh, finalize the gear design and the simulation of the shafting, bearing, gears, and some modification okay, for final output. Okay, uh, let's start for the part one tutorial. So this is our final output actually. So this is the simulated one. Okay, so for our tutorial, I will start from scratch. So we'll make new model. So okay, this is the welcome window of Kisses. So before we start, we need to unlock this icon to use as an admin. Okay, so now we can uh, actually use the icons and the tabs. Okay, let's start. First is we will design this gearbox schematic. So this is our guide in designing using the pieces. Okay, open our Excel. So this is our output, an output that I will uh, show you how to do it. So in our Excel, we just have to adjust first the column width into two okay. to make equal size of boxes. So here we just need to color this box. For example, for coupling, we will start with the shaft. Okay. This is our shaft for coupling color red. But you can select your own color guys. Okay. Then for bearing, I will use orange. For the gear, I will use the two box. I usually use a two box vertical for a big gear. I will extend this one then I have to copy the bearing okay. then for the mesh of the gear so I can choose violet then again the center of the gear shaft then I will copy the gear green so here for uh, big gear so use two vertical height for one gear one only okay. for other gears two, two. then I will copy the bearings okay. then again the gear mesh then the small gear then again copy the shaft and copy the bearing then again extend this part the shaft then copy the coupling ok then continue the grid lines so this is our final output then we uh, put some names and here is the rigid red is the coupling yellow is the shaft orange is for bearing 
green is for gear and the violet is for the gear mesh okay. so we have an input here of 18 horsepower and our output speed should be 10 rpm okay so using our this is software so first we'll have to open this element box so actually we have uh, three types of technique in designing this model of course number one we can use tabs here we can second we can use group box or and then element box and also a diagram if we'd like but based on my experience this is the fastest one the element box so we'll use this as your guide okay so this is our element box first first step is to create the folder this one the groups so we can rename this as gb or gearbox so this is now our project folder for the simulation so we'll enter uh, or place everything here the shaft and the bearings okay in some calculation so from our schematic we'll need we will need three shaft okay so we'll add three shaft here sorry, in the assembly so make sure you highlight the gearbox icon so we have to add three shaft this one PC shop one again go back to GB two three so you have three shop okay, you can rename this one same as our guide in Excel this one S2 for shop two so on S3 for shop three the next so we have three shaft completed then for shaft one we need one coupling two bearings and one gear okay. so again highlight the shaft one then we will add coupling so this is the coupling found in shaft elements coupling one then two bearings then one gear this gear helical gear okay let's check with our design so we're now done with the components for shaft one then let's proceed now to shaft two we have two bearings then two gears so we'll add here shaft two please make sure that you highlight is to icon then add two bearings then add one two gears okay then we're done at shaft 2 components then let's proceed to shaft 3 components we have two bearing one gear and one coupling so highlight again the shaft 3 then add two bearings one gear one coupling okay then guys uh, we need to rename the parts so c1 bearing 1 bearing 2 so the purpose of this renaming is that so that the software can simulate uh, faster the project B4 then B5 So we reduce the the letter the renaming B6 okay for bearing six what else so we are now done with the components next is we add the mesh for the gear here so we have two mesh for the setup so we can find here at the boundary condition here this is constraint and the gear this is gear pair constraint but again guys make sure that you highlight or click the gearbox folder then we will add here the 
gear pair constraint so we will rename this z1 z2 meaning this is the mesh this is the mesh for this one two gears z1 and z2 then okay then we will select the element the gear 1 and the element gear 2 and we will consider it 100% so that's why this one in efficiency okay so we are done with the gear mesh for the gear 1 and gear 2 next is the gear mesh for gear 3 and gear 4 so again highlight the gb add the pieces gear pair constraint then rename to z4 oh sorry z3 z4 then select the element z3 z4 then we will set to default the efficiency so we'll now have the two elements connection for the gear mesh then we need to add the calculation so here in this uh, part we have calculation just click this icon so this calculation uh, will be connected to Kisof remember we are now in Kisis so the connection between the Kisis and the Kisof is this uh, gear calculation same with Z3, Z4 we have to add the gear calculation okay then also we have to add the shaft calculation for the three shaft click S1 add this one piece of shaft highlight S2 add piece of shaft highlight S3 add piece of shaft and then after doing this we need to uh, define the boundary condition so for power input which is the 18 horsepower and the power input which is 10 rpm so how do we do it just highlight this uh, top assembly then go to kisses speed or force this one then we rename to p input or then pn power input then we have to select the shaft one so this one and we have to define the torque constraint to yes then change it to power driving input then as you can see here it is in metric we have to convert to horsepower just right click and click horsepower then add 18 so we have now the power input next is we add also the output condition so p out okay then for the element we will select the coupling to so sorry guys we did it rename it so we have to retain the coupling to then our boundary here is the speed which is 10 rpm so we just have to input 10 then okay okay guys uh in the right side we have here the diagram So what we did here is also updated here in this side. So this is now our assembly. Okay, we can try to generate if there is no error. So okay. So we are done with our part one. So we can check. We have three shafts. We have coupling power input, power output. Then we have gears this one okay so we can rearrange okay so we have input so when we have to compare this to our excel file so the gearbox system schematic so it should be the same so we can another one we can convert this solid item into gear shape so just click this 3d graphics then change the representation mode into solid elements then click ok the file will automatic update into 3D. Then, uh, reminder guys, uh, sometimes if you simulate here using this play button, if you have a uh, low memory or slow PC, uh, 
the pieces sometimes uh, hung okay so by my experience i will use i will add this property pieces 3d view so right click and highlight the top assembly then paste here so here in this 3d model so we can do what Either we do here, we can play or stop without affecting the design area. Okay, so this is now our gear design. So as you can see, the shape of the gear is the same, the bearing is the same, the shock is the same, because we haven't yet updated to this system in our part two. So in part two tutorial, I will show how to update the system and simulate the pieces gear assembly so okay this end our tutorial thank you for watching